Hi, I'm Martin and I live at Otter Lodge Ben Breakfast in the Isle of Skye and today we're going to make potato scones. Before we start, we're going to get a pan ready. You look for a nice heavy bottom kind of frying pan and we'll put it on the stove here and we'll have it on kind of medium heat. What I've done, I've put a little pinch of flour in it and we'll leave it to sit and it will shoot by the time the scones are ready, the flour should be brown and it means the pan will be ready for use. Okay now to make tart scones we've got here half a kilo of mashed potatoes. Now the first thing has to be cold, hot mashed potatoes are no use, it just won't work. So cold mashed potatoes, it's better, I've made this fresh but you can use leftovers as you want as long as there's no milk or anything in it because if you put milk in it the tart scones won't work very well. So in my half kilo of potatoes here we're going to add in 160 grams of flour and in that there was a half teaspoon of salt and the next thing we want is a little bit of oil it doesn't matter you, I just put in a couple of little gloves that kind of amount you don't really need much you can put more in or you can use butter or a different fat if you want but oil mixes in really easy and stops you over mixing them. So we're going to mix together our potatoes, our oil and the flour all in one go. I always use my hand because you can mix it a bit quicker. So we'll give it a good mix here just until it starts to stick together. You're not really looking to work it too much. Once it kind of starts to come together in a ball, that's which we're just about there now. So, you get both hands in, oh, that looks about right, okay, so we can take that out and put it out in our cupboard now. So we've got our dough here now, it's all stuck together, that's what, we're going to form it in a sausage and cut it into bits now. I normally weigh it out into bits about 120 grams, so all my potato scones are the same size, but you can make them any size you want. Now I'm going to take some of my balls of potato scones and I'm going to roll them up. Now you can roll them up any way you want but I'm doing the, the kind of the baker's way which I was tra trained when I was quite young so I'm making them into little balls like that. And we'll roll them out now. Now the way I do it is two at a time. It's actually easier quite often to roll out two things at a time than it is one at a time because it's easier to get them flat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm patting them out, getting them nice and floury and then we're going to roll it out and we're rolling it in nice and gently, you don't need to press hard move them on a bit of flour to make sure they're nicely floured you're looking for them to be about 2 millimetres thick maybe about that so about the size of your kind of outstretched hand you can make them thicker if you want but this is about the thickness that I would normally make them so. So that's that too ready now. Now I'm going to cut these potato scones up into four bits now. I can, I'm going to use a plastic scraper here to kind of cut through them. You don't really want to use a knife because that tends to drag through and it will toughen the dough. So we're just cutting them up with a scraper. Or you can use something that's really handy is a pizza wheel. You can just cut them like that with your pizza wheel and they're cut up ready to go in the pan. The flour's starting to go brown and it means it's ready for the potato scones so I'm going to pop these four in just now so in they go like that. Now it'll probably take two or three minutes for them to brown. We'll check our first potato scone to see if it's ready to turn over. So we're having a look and yep they're looking starting to brown up that's fine it doesn't take long, you get the pan can be quite hot as long as you keep your eye on them okay. give them another minute and we'll be able to take them out we'll have a look at these ones and you can see these ones getting nice and brown so that looks about right so put them aside in the plate and get that little bit out there and you can pop in the next so you can if you've got lots to do you can use two pans that's what I'd actually normally do but Checking these ones, they're starting to brown, and that's okay. Now, if you didn't get the recipe, what we'll do is I'll put it up on our blog because this little video will be on a blog and we'll be putting the recipe for tatty squads on the blog. But it's not really very complicated the recipe, um, you just have to make sure that your potatoes are cold because it won't work if 